We assigned you what we thought was the most difficult task for the two of you, mm -hmm. and that mm -hmm. was on your date to talk about the D word. Come on, Paul, at least make me work a little bit. Oh, the dog. Oh, the dog. The dog. Oh, oh the dog, not dick. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. How did that go? We didn't argue, but we didn't come to a conclusion. We disagreed, but not once did it ever erupt. I mean, this is this is so good to watch this. All right, get ready, Charlotte. Here we go. This is what Josh said. Describe Charlotte in three words. Loving towards me and excited as always. He can't count for shit. I've never heard that excited. This is, um, because you're always excited, like a giddy kipper. A giddy kipper? Have you never heard that saying? <laughs> <laughs> have, you know, have you not? No, because you've just made it up, you only alibut. Josh wants a relationship where we can listen and agree with each other. Do you have that relationship now? Yeah, we're listening and we're agreeing. We're sort of agreeing. We're on the... We're, we're on, on the verge of agreeing, I think. <laughs> this is really great. We've provided them with all the tools to work on a better future, but they really do need to sort out this doggy situation. Charlotte just needs one thing, a relationship where the dogs can come upstairs. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, we can figure it out. Yeah, you get the dog basket in the kitchen, Josh. Sorted. This is your time up, pretty much, for the agency. Yeah. So this is a great opportunity, really, now, to sum up what you have learned about your time with the agency and what you hope for your relationship moving forwards. OK, so Joshua, Richie. Yeah? What I thought before was kind of like, that you just didn't care and you had little patience. But actually, by coming here and listening to these guys, I've realised that you just have a different way that you show your love to me. Just because you don't cry like me, it doesn't mm. mean that you don't care. Right. Josh, were you listening to any of that, you silly giddy kipper? I just think what I've learned is when you're upset and you're crying, I've got to always give you a cuddle because you're upset and... Yeah, I just love you. <laughs> and we're going to have a good future together. <laughs> Thank you. Really good job, guys. Yeah. Seriously, really good job. That was, that was excellent. So I think the only question that's left is, what's next? I planned a surprise date for me and Charlotte. Have you? What could possibly go wrong? What kind of surprise? Am I allowed to know? What does a surprise stand for? So, oh, so I don't get in until I get there. Exactly. Right. We are so chuffed. You are proof that couples coaching works. It does work. Yeah, it does okay. work. Can I look now? I've spent all morning setting up this picnic for Charlotte and I've got a few little surprises for her that I think she's going to love. You may look. <laughs> what the hell? It's a dog bed. Why? Uh, for a dog to sleep in. Are these for me? Yeah, just little dog things. This means that I'm open to letting the dogs come round and then we'll see how they get on and it might turn into something permanent. Do you know what? I'm so proud because you've just made so much progress. Like, you I'm had... making an effort here. Yeah. yeah. You had such a barrier up against the dogs like even coming in the house. Yeah. And now you've just put the barrier down. I put it down and I'm compromising. Give us a kiss then. And we'll see what happens in the future. Children. And you think dog shit everywhere. Feed us a raspberry then. Put your head like that. Open up wider. <laughs> <laughs> what a <is> shit! <laughs> Did you hear it smack off the back of his tonsil? It sounded like my willy. Ah, oh, they just make your heart melt, don't they? This is very romantic, Josh. We've never had a picnic before, haven't we not? No, I never. I've never actually never had one in my life, to be honest, I don't think. You've never had a picnic in your life? No. Nah. Is that some kind of sick joke? Yeah, Josh, what kind of sick bastard are you? Are you excited for our future? Yeah, we've got lots to look forward to, haven't we? Lots. We want to go travelling. Tra We're going to move in together. Hopefully I'll get it proposed to. Josh. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, never. When do you think you're going to propose in? Oh, I don't know. Josh. Within five years' time. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'll be off after a free. I've not got a ring on my finger. I do love Charlotte, but 
But bloody hell, we've only just agreed on the dogs. Slowly, slowly, catchy pigeon. Catchy pigeon? Who'd want to catch a pigeon? Filthy fuckers. This has been a lovely little last day, I think. I think this has been my favourite one. Well, it's my little surprises that have made it your favourite uh, one. I've got everything sick of me. See, you're not the only one with lovely little surprises. Come on, then, shall we go home? I am so made up that Josh is happy for the dogs to come over. He's very thoughtful, he's very caring, and he's very fit. Let's go. Come on. There's your pillar. Ow, Josh! I love you're actually moving for me. Mm-hmm. So I love you. And really? you're very fit. So, you, so you've actually appreciated his movement of Walton for you, then? Yes. That's actually even my shoulders, that. So thank you very much. No worries.